hi guys and welcome back to another video i just wanted to thank you for all of the support in the last video on the first episode of border lockdown today's video will just be going over basic shapes for drawings so let's get into it the first um, thing you're going to need is a hp pencil preferably sharpened and this is just for no shading just to do basic shapes and stuff and then a kneadable eraser most people won't have this, they're very good for lightly erasing things, but instead you can use a normal rubber, any like 50p rubber. And then finally the essential, your sketch pad. The sketch pad was £1.99 from B&M and it's su suitable for professional use, so I really recommend this. And it's just a great quality paper for such a cheap price. And then next I've got a drawing. I did have two but I had to cut one out because it was a clown and probably a bit scary. This is an orc. It's from World of Warcraft or something, whatever it's called. And it's just a cool orc drawing I did. To start this off we're just going to be doing basic shapes. To do any characters, so as you saw, drawings as I just did. The clown and then the orc. Both of those you need your basic shapes, your basic outlines and everything. And that's one of the most important steps for drawing, so that's why I'm going to be showing this today. And then in the comments below, just suggest anything you want me to teach you. And in the next two or three days I'll upload a video on that and I'll show you guys. So yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial. Hi guys, and we're going to start this off by drawing a simple circle. It may seem hard, circles, I know they're hard, but you don't need anything to draw around. You, this is just gonna be the basic start to your head. So I'm gonna draw mine fairly big. You just need to draw a basic circle and then it may, not, it may look wonky. And if it is, just keep going around the edges, neatening it up, and I'll see you guys when you've done that. So now you've done that, if you have a kneadable eraser, I suggest you go over it with lightly with your kneadable eraser and it's just going to stop the lines from being in a sphere, but I know most of you aren't going to have one of these, so just very lightly go over with your normal eraser and that should lighten it up and neaten it up mainly, so yeah, that's the main base. This is going to be the most important part here, drawing an X. It sounds weird, but you're just going to need to draw an X, one line down there, and then one line down here. This is going to help you with the features of the face, and it's just so helpful if, you're want, to, if you want to become an artist. This will help you along the way. All of these tips are going to help you. So now once you've done that, you're going to need to, obviously this is just a circle at the moment, you're going to need to bring down the jawline. And this is probably where most people fail. You need to start on the rounded edge of his or her's head and just bring down the jawline. And just watch me when I've done it and I'll update you guys when it's done. As you can see, I've brought down the jaw and the jawline. And this is where it all starts coming together, as you, you can probably tell, it's starting to look more like a face. I'm just going to start adding the main features, <coughs> sorry, adding more details, and just making it easier. So the first step you're going to need is to bring down this line here, just down to the bottom of the chin, and then draw one line here, this is going to be where the mouth is, and then another line here. So that's going to be the eyes and the mouth. These are the two most important steps. So you know where you're pointing your eyes and the mouth. So once you've done that, you're going to start erasing things. So on the head looks a bit too round. You're going to erase that a tiny bit. And then just go back over it with pencil. And then you're going to start erasing the main big forehead line. You're not going to erase it fully, just erase it lighter, so it's not messing up anything. 
and you can just see what you're doing a lot clearer, clearer. And I haven't said this yet, but I'm going to be doing a manga style of drawing here. Manga, anime, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to start neatening things up, so I'll update you when it's all neatened up. So now, you've got this messy pile of crosses. This is where everything starts to come into play. I'm just doing a manga drawing, so this is just going I'm just showing you the main steps. This is going to be very different to what you're probably going to do. You can change my advice into whatever you want, and I'm just going to start adding in some things that's going to turn into the actual manga style and turn into a proper drawing. So here, I'm just going to add a neck. And the area you want to put your neck is where the jawline goes into a chin. Um, in the middle, to send near the middle, closer to the left side of it, my left. And then you just do the exact same on the opposite side. Just try not to either make his neck too fat or too thin, or her neck. Because I'm drawing a male character, the features are going to be a lot different. I'll just show you um, a picture of a manga face now. So this is a female manga face and this is out of a book that I found, like a Chinese book thing. And this is just the manga art style. So that, if that gives you a general idea of what manga looks like. So now you've got this general shape and you've added in the neck, I'm just going to start adding in a little colour line and I'll show you when it's done. So now I've done that, I realised, I lifted up the line because I realised that's where the eyes are going to go and it needs to be a bit higher up from the forehead. You can see the faint outline of where the circle was. You're going to need to draw that line on about the third quarter of the circle, just below where it finishes. So if you draw the nose on the very edge of that circle, the nose part, you're going to have a good idea where to put the eyes. So that's very helpful. And now once you've done that, you see around here, you're going to draw two circles. And that's just, depending on how you're drawing, I'm doing manga style, obviously realistic. I do that a lot. Such as, I won't show you the full clown, beware, I'm showing the clown again. Oh no. On his eye there, I've done an oval shape to try and that's more realistic. For this, because it's manga, you're just going to draw, draw a straight circle, so yeah. So now you've done that, he's looking a bit devilish, so you're going to want to lighten up all of your figure marks. On the side, you're just going to want to lighten that up. Because in the end, I'm going to go in with inking. I'm going to do another video on that to show you how I ink in and how to use markers properly. So now you've done that, the next step is to add in a nose and just start adding in more details. Start adding in a hairline and all of that stuff. Sorry about that noise. And then, so yeah, that's the next step. And I'll see you when it's done. Now I've added in hairline. That's very important that you add in the hairline on the base sketch. And around the circle you first drew on the skull. You need the hair slightly goes out of that. So you're going slightly out of it. And the hair will slightly stick out the edges. And then you just need to add in basic eyes. Basic eyebrows. Basic ears. Very basic there. And... For manga, their noses, they're extremely basic. And for more detailed drawings, I'll show you how to do detailed noses, detailed lips and eyes. I have done an eye drawing in the past. I would love to show you, but I don't really have the time right now. So now you've done that, I'm going to show you the finished sketch and show, tell you what I've done on the finished sketch. And then once I've done that, I will colour it in and show you a few different poses. This is the final sketch and now you want to rub out the thicker lines. This is the most important part for when you're inking 
And don't worry about that line in the middle. When you go over and pen or some and everything, you can just rub all of that out as hard as you want. Because it's not going to affect the ink or anything like that. So now I've done that, I'm going to draw a few different poses and show you the ink work. This is the final product. I'm not going to lie, I don't like it. But, so, yeah. I did one in a different angle. It looks really ugly. I think it looks terrible, but hey-ho. You gotta do what you gotta do. Everything was failing. The footage kept corrupting and everything failed. I had to film this video four times now. Four times. And this is the final product. I was going to draw a big skull there. A realistic skull. But I really don't have the time to do that at the moment. I will do a video on how to draw skulls or something. Or just anything. Um, suggest in the comments below what you want. So that's the first one I showed you. And that's the second one I've done. That looks terrible. If this looks, sorry, if this looks bad, I don't care. I think it looks bad, but leave your suggestions in the comments below. And the next video will probably be about either more basic shapes on how to do stuff, or maybe how to draw an eye, or um, realistic stuff, I guess, or different types of shading. Let me just show you something I did on one of the videos I scrapped. So I did some graphite, I showed you how to, I did time lapse on how to do that. And I just did a shading block from light to dark, dark to light. And I just did a basic shape on how you can turn it into something like a can. And I wasn't too proud of it. All the footage failed and the view was basically just off centre. It looked something like that. You could only see a tiny bit of it in the time lapse. And everything failed, so yeah, that was going to be a video and a tutorial, but nope. <laughs> this is what you shall receive, manga art. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to use those basic shapes in all your drawings. I hope it helped, and I'll see you guys in the next one.